friends, this is Kang and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Deanna from Taming the Frizz and I absolutely love her channel. She is uh, just an inspiration and a joy to watch. She is a mommy and she homeschools. I have really been enjoying her videos and just her heart for the Lord and her children and her home and so anyway, make sure you guys go check her out if you have not heard of her. I will put her link right down below and on an icon on the screen here. So anyway, if you are from her channel, I just want to welcome you. Thank you for taking your time and stopping by here. I pray that I will be an encouragement and motivation for you to live a better life as a mommy and a homemaker in Christ. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into my living room home decor tour that you guys have been requesting. And make sure to check out Deanna's room tour as well once you are done with mine. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna start out here on our piano. And this was actually given to us. We just love music in this family. So anyway, here is this. Okay guys, and then moving right above the piano, I have the Dollar Tree DIY vase and flowers that I did like four or five years ago that I'm in love with still. Box of tissues and a bowl of Reese's for, uh, I mean, any day, right? <laughs> and then I have these candles that were for my wedding day and I've just kept it for sentimental sake. And then above here is the centerpiece of this wall above the piano. I love the Amazing Grace sign and then I've just kind of uh, added in some personal touches with family photos from all of our trips from last year and it's all in black and white and I absolutely love that. And I got all the frames for Christmas from like this collage pack. Um, so it's been really, really good and absolutely love that music sheet, you guys. And then that S I believe is from Hobby Lobby and the amazing grace sign is from hobby lobby and everything else was gifted to me um so here is just a quick overview of this wall and hopefully the coloring isn't that bad it's just the lighting's going in and out because of the sun so anyway moving over to the mantle this literally took me I mean weeks to figure this out because I'm not that creative you guys but I put that windmill up there I got that one from Hobby Lobby in my previous Hobby Lobby haul and then here is a half gallon mason jar that I've just put there I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I might buy a different vase or spray paint that one but I got the yellow flowers from Tuesday morning for like six dollars I love that he has risen sign right in the middle just to remind us every day of what is most important to us. And then I got all of these other things from Hobby Lobby um, and I believe they were all 50% off. Um, the greenery and the candlesticks and the little birdhouse. I got that one like four or five years ago. And then below it, I just have extra uh, couch pillows stored. I have my diaper pail there and then this be still in no box that we got for Eli's gender reveal. Oh, and there's that sign back there that I haven't figured out what to do with and I'm just kind of hiding it there for the moment. But uh, in here I use um, it to store like all of Edith and Eli's kitchen stuff whenever they want to play with it. And so I just keep it in there just so there's not too much clutter in sight. And then, yep, extra pillows from the couch and I also just have the bin full of blankets and throws there um, just for all of us to use. And then here is just an overview of the TV area. I've actually switched this around quite a bit. I'm not sure how it will be eventually, but these flowers I put in a mason jar. I love mason jars for decor, and I've just used uh, the string to just tie a little... Uh, bow around it and this is the tray I got from Hobby Lobby as well and I just use it for the remote there and it's actually like I maybe for the kitchen or something but I just like it here it says farm fresh eggs uh, farmers market that type of thing it looks rustic so I love it uh, 
just to add a little rustic feel to it and then this is the absolute find that i love y'all this is a lantern type of thing and i still have the price on it because i wasn't sure if i wanted to keep it but i want to see how it looked like this is actually 20 $19 but I loved it so much. I haven't seen anything like it. So I grabbed it. And this is from Tuesday morning. And then I just threw in a little um, one of those candles that you can get in a package from Walmart. Um, so it's not a real candle, which is good. Because my kids will go crazy if it is since it's uh, reachable for them at this point. But anyway, I think I'm liking it. So I'm going to keep it for the time being. So I might just cut off that price tag and right above it you guys took me the longest time to figure out what i wanted to do above the tv because we have huge ceilings and i finally ended up with this window frame i absolutely love it ordered it off of etsy and then i just threw in one of my briefs that i got from hobby lobby and these shelvings i've actually had you guys it's actually uh two six cube shelves that i've just kind of pushed together they were originally in our uh kids bedrooms but i just we needed a TV stand because our other one broke like literally in half because uh, it wasn't real wood. And so uh, we've just had these bins. These are lifesavers. They hide all the clutter, all the toys. So I've just organized it by musical instruments, maracas, etc. And then books uh, regarding the Bible that we like to read at night. And then these are just like fun books or books that um, it's fun to learn like how to read. Edith is starting to be interested in reading so anyway there are those books there and then um yeah these bins we hi hid we are hiding our movies in there i've alphabetized it so it's a little easier to find so a through i and some um, just personal wedding videos over there that we've had or copies whatever you call it and here are some baby's breath that I love that my husband always gets for me I uh, just for around the house and I've just put it in this little creamer uh, mug that I got and some books I thought you know I'll try a little book stacking and see how I like it so yeah that's just my personal journal and then a couple of other books and yay we have an empty bin we've decluttered a lot so that is awesome right there hopefully we don't add any more things but if we do we have an extra bin and those are the rest of the movies that I've alphabetized so we can find easily and so here is just kind of the overview y'all of it and uh oh this picture i just kind of put right there i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave it there but i really love this picture of my mama this was on my wedding day before she was uh diagnosed with cancer and everything so that's a very special photo to me and then i have my bible and my journal that i'm currently uh writing in right there for easy access and then i have this card here above the dvd player from mother's day that says love you to the moon and back from edith and eli and i just thought it would you know be a great reminder there so i put that there and then here's our ottoman our love seat and our sofa set that we got from rooms to go back in like october november i love the studs on the couches um it just has a homey feel to it and all the pillows that came with it i am going to eventually diy some pillowcases or pillow coverings and put it on top of there just because i want more of a farmhouse feel to it but this will do for now and then this rug you guys we got it off of amazon for like 150 to 200 dollars i think back in like november or december so i can't really remember the price but i think we're going to switch that out eventually and put that in the guest bedroom anyway these are drop cloths that we've used as curtains i found the idea off of uh, pinterest thank you pinterest and so yeah we got everything from home depot i believe and then on top of this table that we also got free from rooms to go with the furniture purchase is the heart of the church that's on our list to read next and glimpses of grace i've read almost done with anyway on top of that i just have this mason jar with my um baby's breath and uh, some burlap string just for simple decor that is definitely my go-to and yep i love that rounded table it fits really well just with uh, the flow of the rest of the room and so anyway guys this is the overview of my living room i hope you guys have enjoyed my room tour 
give this video a thumbs up and make sure you go check out Deanna's uh, room tour video as well. I hope you have been inspired to make your house a home for your family, a place of sanctuary and comfort for them. So anyway guys, I love y'all and I will see you in my next one.